back. Yep, somehow. Worked That's out pretty of... impressive. Yeah, we got rid of the black. Black so, was... I mean, um, it's been pretty, like, it's been playing pretty bad still. Like, Are you kidding me? It's, it's been playing it's fine. Just... Dude, dude, we're playing Mono Green, like, every game has been so fucking close. <laughs> it's good viewer. It's good, uh, good for the fucking viewers. Mono Green. Ugh. <laughs> this is, like, one of the archetypes I actively try to avoid when I draft. Yeah, right. Okay, we're going first. We've got a scout. Oh, man, we can't keep this. No, we can't keep this. I want to keep not, this. It's not enough. I know. It's, like, halfway good. Hopefully he just goes. Oh, we're Even keeping worse. it for three. We got a two and a three. No, we can't keep that. That's so greedy. We have to go to five. Going to five is a loss. It's a loss every time. All right, let's keep. That's yeah, we good. got let's we got ramp. Five. Do we want the forest? Yeah, we absolutely do. What are we gonna do? We're gonna ramp into elf into elf and then be sad as fuck for the rest of our lives. We're not playing the scout on two. We're gonna save it to buff them. I know, I know, but this is it's terrible. The only chance. It's the only chance we've got. Well, okay, if we if we got the Marowind and then we land or scout it and we arbor it, we can draw into our worm and cast our worm on turn four, okay? That's the game plan. Alright, I guess if we get worm. if we get all the mana on her, we can sack Memorial of Unity, get the worm, and then do that. Let's hope he has no ways to deal one damage. Yeah, I hope so. Marwin the nurturer. We're gonna nurture some shit. Yep. Pretty good. Playing Arakdos again. Hopefully he doesn't have a land drop. Hopefully he doesn't have a fucking removal spell. There's no value. I mean, like we kept this hand because it's the third hand. I don't. I don't know. I don't know about I mean, talking you can't in a second. Go to four, right? So. Yeah. No. Of course you can't go to four. You can't keep. You can't keep a one lander on the play, dude. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah. But we had a scry though. One land. One land. All cards that cost five or more. Like. He's playing dread skeletons. We have a chance. We got double elves. Shit. Elf is going big. We're going to fucking elf town here, boy. -o. Question is, I yeah, think we play both of them and then we can use our yeah, memorial to, to sack the memorial to get a creature. Yep, I his agree. End of the turn. He's like, what the fuck just happened? That elf just grew to what a three three. Ramping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a bad hand. What are you talking about? I mean, it's fine now. We've got a 3 3 on the table and fucking 7 man or 8 mana. Did he just not attack me? No, he can't attack. He's like, he's got a 3 3. I can't attack into this. Alright, let's sack it. Let's get that fucking worm, baby. It's gonna miss. Ooh, oh, that's a 5 Just five. fine. He's like, what the shit is going on in this game? <laughs> yeah, he is. All right, that's great. Means I can yeah. play the Akavi without tapping the Nurturer. Yeah, it's good. Oh. Uh, it's still tapped in. What? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Why? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but, but it's shitty. That's shitty. It's yeah, this is why I tap my lands like I get I don't trust the client at all. Rip Kabu. Who can't kill the nurture because it's a legend. Why would it use the why would it use the I mean I guess maybe the, the stupid thing they programmed is actually to have it pick the sources that tap for more? rather than the individuals, because it always taps the lands that do the two when you put um, Gift of Paradise or whatever it's called on as well. Yeah. All right, we didn't get punished for it. He didn't take his free damage. Seems like a good one in like a turn. I mean, we could just, I mean, we no. can just wait until we draw a land. Yeah, right? yeah, that's what I'm saying, in a turn. I thought you were going to say we could just play it. I was going to be very no, salty. We could, just wait. we could just wait until we draw a land. We have, there's no reason to commit this to the table right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to feel real bad when that hits our fucking island. When it hits our elf. I would say I would just choose all. I would choose the elf and all, the three of the lands. All 
All right. Do we get a, Do we get a round or does it start now? No, it starts on this end step, dude. Fuck me. Hopefully, hopefully it hits Lanor or Scout. Yep. Or Lanor else. It's like a 50 50. Yes. Yeah, it's fine. It's a good start. Okay, right, that's great. We so we need to tap. play. Yeah. It's we good. have to tap her, unfortunately, but it is what it is. All right, that's that's a good draw. Is it? I kind of want to yeah, keep Arbor right. Armaments up. I guess it's not going to protect versus anything no, really. No, any, any, any anything that there. I don't. I don't. There's like one spell that does three damage, just three damage. All right, we don't need the island anymore. So. <laughs> no, we don't need the island anymore at all. So that's my preferred kill target. Yes. Wouldn't it protect it versus that? Yeah. Exa it's exactly. Exactly. It's dead. It's dead. All right. So. Hopefully it hits the Lanor Scout and then hits the island. A generous bestowal. Oh, thank you, Hopla. Much appreciated. He just does not want to attack. It's fine. Don't do it. Don't do it. Scout. Fuck! No. All right. All right, well, we play that. Well, we just lost all of our win conditions. Just had removal for that, removal for that, and shitty removal for that. It shoots once more. Yeah, I know. Because reasons. Okay, that we lose to probably. What do you mean because... probably? There's I mean, no way we, we don't draw, lose to that. We could draw our deal seven to a flyer this turn, okay? Yeah. There's a small chance we're That's not true. just dead to that. That's true. Why isn't he attacking with that? Alright. Okay, maybe he maybe he completely blows it somehow. He's gonna blow it this turn, Delphi. Okay, he's gonna tap out, and play another creature. We play our land. For what? We don't have we any draw to. Because it slows us down one turn in case we draw our a drop. Does it? I mean, kind of. In case he like has some spell to discard our card in our hand. Okay, he figured it out. Okay, we can cons no. No, we have one more turn to draw. It's one more turn. Seven. Yeah, but he's killed all of our all of our strong draw cards. He's killed with removal from his hand. Okay, this is the last turn we have to draw. But if he attacks with everything here, we get to kill one of his two twos. No. Kill the goblin. No, we don't, because it buffs the fucking no. vampire. Oh, seven. The, seven doesn't it's matter. It's still seven. Seven is still the same. Okay. All right, we're dead. Okay. So that's one. That was double mulligan. I, fucked, I mean, we mulled, we mulled the five, so... Yeah. That was us first, too. Okay. All right. Um, How do you feel about a second Pierce the Sky? Probably pretty decent against the fact that he's got that fucking insane. How do you feel about a fourth pierce the sky? <laughs> I don't know about three. Yeah. I kind of wouldn't mind another worm though. His deck was really. Well, he had a really bad draw too though. This card does not seem like very useful there. No. I'd probably cut the sentinel. Especially since he's going to be killing our islands. Um, the question is, do we want another Arbor Armament or another Pierce the Sky? The only way... I don't, I don't think Arbor Armament's actually good against him. The only flying creature we saw was the bomb. But the plus one, plus one is relevant. It is a, okay. it is a combat trick. It's okay. I kind of want another I mean, Pierce the Sky. How do you feel about that? I think three is probably a bit much. You only played the one flying creature. He's in red-black, so... All right. Not like he's blue or something, or he's gonna have. This game has home. to be one that we lose, just FYI. I mean, if we that's yeah, okay. that's how games work, yeah. Yep. If we don't win, we lose, Sui. Just be aware. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? Sometimes when we don't win, we don't lose. Yeah. I'm fighting against Polycarp. I don't know if we can beat this guy. He's multiple carps in one human. <laughs> no, body. no, he's polyamorous as a carp. I don't think that's multiple carps. He just has multiple no. lovers. Um, this looks terrible. Should we keep it? Yeah, yeah. keep it. 
We don't know about this being useful yet. Maybe we should, oh, he has, no, what are we talking about? We know, got that fucking bombardment nonsense. Yeah, he has the bombardment. He still gets one off though, so it two for ones us. I mean, it's better than a three for, three for one, right? Yeah, I guess. Sometimes lands are not three for ones though. Like it doesn't really matter sometimes. <sighs> not a card we wanted to draw right now. Not so much. I guess another bad draw would be Pierce the Sky right now. I thought we might. I thought we might get a, get lucky with the fucking uh, Tat Yoiva down. We might be able to come back into it after that ridiculous opening with what's her face. But no, just all the answers yeah, all the way we up. We were just we were just too far behind uh, card number wise. Yep. Okay. Um, getting in for the big damage here. Yep. It'd be nice to have more land. He hit six in a row to play a half hazard bombardment on curve, followed by fucking vampire basically on curve. So it'd be nice if yeah, we could true. get some. So I guess he's got removal and he's considering killing her. What the hell kills the scout on two mana? Cast sure down. Target non legendary creature. Yeah, it's yeah. cast down. Let's play that island. I don't do what I don't think I should do. It's just that sometimes I'm not convinced it's the better of the two alternatives. I see it as a... It's what I talk to Sui about it sometimes. Like, I'm like, I'm kind of convinced. But all these are, like, percentage convinced, right? I'm never 100% convinced, but I'm never 0% convinced by these arguments. Sometimes I'm 0% convinced, and I just snap ignore him. But most of the time, I'm not. All right. I mean, I guess we're arbor arbormenting our scout to deal with that. Yeah. Do you want to be super fancy? No, we don't want to be that fancy. I like being fancy sometimes. So the problem with this hand is a lot of our draws are dead that aren't lands. And the lands, we need like two lands to do anything. So it's like half our fucking draws in our deck are just dead right now. Better to err on the side of caution? Not really. All right, let's get our big dude. Here comes the cast down. Well, oh, it could be the cast down, yeah. Cast down would fuck us. I was thinking uh, he might have um, his kicker thing. I think I think he doesn't realize how how much we need lands. Yeah. Alright. Hopefully he doesn't have a 4-4 four, four for 4 here. Yeah, hopefully he's in the same shitty thing we are. Nope. That's a really bad one for us. Can't do anything about it. Nope. <laughs> well, it's a creature, I guess. Yeah, right. Technically. <laughs> yeah, right. Technically. I might be dual blocking that confess. I don't know. Any combat trick blows us out with fucking blocking I don't, that. I don't think we dual block the confessor. No, I'm really tempted, but I don't think we do either. Because oh, we got, we have the pump spell for the guy as protector in our hand, right? So like yep. maybe we can just get him. Yep. Plus we are we're, we're twenty. We can take some damage. Yeah, that's gonna be what we're gonna be doing. Wow. Okay. Alright, cool. So this seems like a pretty solid Gaia's turn here. Four plus four. I guess we die to any removal, but we've been dead to any removal what? for a while. If he's got removal, he's got removal, right? Yeah, I guess. Let's see what he blocks with. Uh... Alright, let's pump our guy. Yep, going all the way plus too. Four. Yep, plus four plus four. Incoming cast down. Shooting fire. Okay. All right. He's got two for one on that, unfortunately. If 
better on that than on the worm. Right? Yeah. Well. Assuming we draw land. You want to get that third uh, pierced sky in yet? It's a pretty good one. Yeah, not bad. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Give him a dark bargain too. Soul salvage, rather. Soul salvage. <laughs> I think we lose to that one, buddy. I know what you're talking about. We got a worm. We'll worm into Thorn Elemental into Double Pierce the Sky and be fine. <sighs> They're on a two turn fucking clock. We're on a two turn fucking clock. One turn? But we have to kill both of them now. Yeah, it is kind of one turn. We gotta draw. Is he is like a billion creatures? I don't think that's good enough because it costs us our worm. Let's attack and see maybe he blocks the worm or something. Maybe we can. <laughs> Yeah, that's something. Is it? I mean, technically, it's not nothing. I mean, what we can do is animus the acolyte to still give us our full two turns. Yeah, I mean, we need to well, draw up here to the sky. Unless he attacks with the confessor and the, the knight as well. Yeah, I wish he will. Oh, he just oh. grabs. <laughs> um, can I wait till he targets? Be then cast ancient animus or no? Yeah, you can. How? So you click yeah, resolve, and then the battlefield trigger is gonna target. He's taking the, the elf. Scout. Fuck you! Why would you not take the seven six? Why? He's, he's he he knows, dude. He's got the savage beats, dude. All right, we're dead. You can just do whatever. <laughs> we're dead. Yeah, he's right. got the, he's take got nine. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. He knows. All right, this deck did better than we thought six. it was gonna do. So it went all the way to. Uh, we got four out of it, right? Four out of five, yeah. Yeah. Not bad for that deck. The deck that started well, as tricolor. Taking, taking, taking the two four is one hundred percent right there. Cause the two four just blocks the worm, right? Yeah. So... Well, it kills both my creatures to do that. But yeah. No, he still has the worm because you still get the worm back at the end of the turn, but Alright. So Two things are going to happen here. One, I'm going to queue into another as a claim prize. Not bad. 1,800 out of that deck seems pretty reasonable. Take a look at what we pick up out of this. Uh, right of Bazenlik, I think. Belzenlock. Belzen this looks like uh, Dark Heresy to me, that guy. But, yep, take that one. Take a look at the other packs. No, we're going to do another um, competitive here. I, don't, I just don't know if we'll finish it today. We'll see. Uh, yep, Varix is an easy first pick. Card's good. Go look at these next two. Uh, I don't think I'm. Are you picking Half Hazard Bombardment over Arvid or Settle the Score or Gideon's? No, I don't I'm think I taking, am. I'm just taking Settle. settle. The score. Yeah, me too. As exile removal. Uh, Gorger's good. I think Jin is not that great. I'm taking Tempest Jin here. Every yep. time. We'd have to talk about it. Mono blue on first pick feels pretty painful. Yeah, who cares? Blue's a good color. Yeah, but it's mono blue is Generally, it's the best color. All right, let's go ahead.